Hello chess fans, fans of the beautiful game. This is chess to impress with another impressive position from history. This is a blood, sweat and tears game. This is a game of 124 moves between Viktor Korchnoi, white and Anatoly Karpov, black. The fifth match game of the World Championship match in 1978 held on the Philippines. It is the 27th of July 1978 and also the days after because the this game got adjourned twice. It was also Korchnoi's second anniversary of fleeing from the Soviet Union to the West. And so it was a big day for him and it looked like he was going to score his first win in the match. The score is 2-0 after four draws in the first four games and this is game five. Let me tell you the story. This is the position after the 42nd move from Korchnoi, Rook E1 to H1. This was the adjourned position. You can see both parties have queen, rook and five pawns and white is a bishop pair versus black as the knight pair. The bishop pair tends to have an advantage in those type of positions and it's no different this time. White is better and the analysts, the journalists were quite optimistic about Korsner's chances to win this game. Karpov had to seal his move and he sealed the move knight h7. And he had a big advantage with this because he knew that this move was going to be the next move while Korchnoi had to look at all the alternatives. And there are quite a few alternatives in this position. He had to look at, for example, knight e7, knight e6, rook e8 and queen g5, which was the favorite amongst the analysts. All those moves make sense and Korsnoi had to look at all of them while Karpov's team could focus on the positions after knight h7 and that helped later because Korsnoi got into time trouble and we'll see that now. Let's move to the 52nd move and white has won a pawn and the rooks are swapped and white still is better has good winning chances and Karpov here, speculating on Korchnoi's time trouble, decided to make a run for, uh, with his king to the queen side to find shelter there. Let me show you the few, a few moves. King f7, bishop g6, and now king e6. And this should not have worked for Karpov, because after queen a3 check, king d5, on his way to the queen side, but he won't get there because he will... Would have should have got checkmated here. The checkmating sequence is quite forced but Korchnoi had no time to calculate it. He should have played bishop f7 check, king c6 only move, queen e6 check and then for example king b5, queen c4 check, king a4 only move and queen a6 is checkmate. If the king goes to b7 instead of b5, that won't help either. Queen takes e7, wins a piece for starters, but also it's made in a few moves. And of course, Korsnoi should have seen this, but it's easy to say he had no time left, and with the pressure he was under, he was not able to find this sequence. Instead, he played bishop e4 check, and with that gave away all his advantage. Karpov played knight takes e4, f takes e4, king takes e4. It looks dangerous with the king in the middle with the queen around but this position is equal. Korchnoi didn't give up. Many people would have offered a draw here after seeing that they had given away their advantage but Korchnoi kept fighting. In the next number of moves Karpov decided to sacrifice his knight to reach a theoretically drawn endgame. This is the position after the 70th move. Karpov had sacrificed that knight and now he takes the pawn on b5 and white is left with the pawn on a3 and the bishop of the dark squares. This is a theoretically drawn position because the 
queening square of the a pawn is a light square while the bishop is of the dark squares and if the king can reach the a8 square it is a draw still Korchnoi played on because there are two things he can play for he can try to keep the king out of the corner or he can through stillmate ideas get black to move the b-pawn up the board and if the b-pawn goes to b4 then white can play a takes b4 which makes the e-pawn into a b-pawn and then the position is easily winning so that is what Korchnoi then tried and tried and tried for many many moves this is the position of the second adjournment after king h5 as you can see Korchnoi has been able to drive Karpov's king away from the square a8 and he is still trying to win his position but it didn't work let me show you the position after the 106th move here Korchnoi gave up his attempts to force Karpov to play b5 b4 he took the pawn on b5 and still tried to win this position by keeping the corner out of a8 and collecting the a4 pawn at the same time it didn't work this is the position after the 123rd move king h7 and Korchnoi finished the game off by bishop g7 still mate an incredible struggle over three sessions and 124 moves but not a draw two and a half two and a half and a long way to go because the first to win six games would win the match a lot more adventures a lot more incredible impressive positions which i will show you in future videos hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so you will be notified when i post my next video this is chess to impress thank you for watching